Hi everybody, this is Matthew Pose of Pose Acoustics, and this is just gonna be a really quick video on waveforming again. So we've been doing a lot of uh, talk about waveforming. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of videos talking about the ways it works. So you guys know I've been beta testing it. It's in my system right now. But one of the problems I had was that my front subwoofers were stacked on top of each other because I didn't have a way to get them farther apart. Now I'm gonna build the front wall correctly to handle it in the future, but it's the quotes I've been getting are like five to $7,000. That's like the friend of a friend discount or you know family discount type stuff. So. Before I get into all that reconstruction, I decided to find another solution. And what I did was I actually bought some wire racks. Um, they're designed to handle the weight. And we put the subwoofers on the wire racks, which is allowing me to space them out at the right height. So I currently have the subwoofers in the front now in roughly the correct location. I'll show you, show you pictures. It's going to look super weird. You're going to be like, what are you doing, Matt? Um, I don't yet have the subwoofers separated on their own amplifiers. So I got to get Jeff to trade out my amplifier with two so that I have four amp channels in the front instead of two. So what I'm doing right now is a hybrid of the Trinov waveforming approach and the standard analog uh, approach. And that was, Arno actually told me to do this and to try it. So I've done what he told me to do. I got it working as of 2 a.m. last night. So very little uh, time listening to it, but I have taken measurements already. It's better than it was by quite a bit. And the results are quite good. The rear subs are also in the wrong location. They are basically in the inside enough, but they're on the floor. They need to be up much higher to be working optimally, but they're still doing what they're supposed to do. And we're getting pretty good decay control. So I've got good de decay control, a relatively consistent response now across the seats. It's much better than it was before actually. And so I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to add the extra amplifier because I think that's gonna actually get everything to be even closer together and, and better yet. The rear subs, I may actually have to do more with to get those working better. But anyway, that's all I wanted to share with you guys where that's at. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, donations are helpful. I really like that when you guys do that because it's helping to pay for some of the costs I have for doing these videos. And um, the interactions actually are really good too. So the more you guys interact, the higher the videos get rated and um, the more I actually get more money from uh, YouTube. So help me get as much money out of YouTube as I can by continuing to ask questions and comment. Thanks again, guys.